I believe we are live. <gasps> Joe Daunt, thank you for the follow. I'm sorry, it, um, I tried to put up alerts so it would do a like an al uh, alert box. I'm surprised it didn't pop up. Hmm. I'm still playing. This is the first time, so I am um, still learning everything. But, all right. I think that's, I think we're going to do it. All right. Let's see here. And so it begins. <laughs> I love puns. So, if you, uh, oh! <gasps> Myth, thank you for coming in. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. <laughs> um, happy New Year to you as well. I hope you had a fun night and you're not too hungover. <laughs> Actually, are, are you still feeling ill? I know you're um, having sore throat, so I hope that uh, that's gotten better at least. But, um, so, for so my first stream, I thought I'd do a craft stream, and I'm going to do an embroidery journal. I saw this thing on Pinterest, and I know it's been all over. I'm not on TikTok, but, um, oh, I'm glad, okay, I'm glad you're feeling better. A bit cold. Oh, I hope you, I hope you want, get 100% better very soon. Um, but, uh. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing um, a embroidery journal, and so um, what it's going to do is I, I already have this all set up, and I'm going to draw it out. I'll do the embroidery on it, and I'm only going to do one prob uh, one little icon um, about maybe once a week or twice a week. We shall see uh, how productive I can be. But um, let's see here. Oh, I guess I should introduce myself. Hello, hello. <laughs> um, I am C Star, and this is my first Twitch stream. So yes, please bear with me. I am still trying to figure everything out. I tried to put up like alert boxes, the chat box. Chat box doesn't seem to be doing its thing either. Hang on, let's see. I can play around with this a little. Hmm. Live stream. I, well, I guess I'll just learn as we go, but all right. So um, pretty much a embroidery journal is you separate uh, this will be separated by months, and then as as we go along, it'll make more sense. But um, each month, I'll have um, a few icons that just represent the day. Uh, I am on Streamlabs, and I have like sources, so you can add add new sources, and they're in there. So I have like an alert box for like new followers and all that. And then I have a chat box, this audio capture. Does my sound seem okay as well, Myth? I hope it does. <laughs> we were trying to play with it earlier, but um, we kept having like a little humming issue. And I hope that that was resolved. At least we tried. <laughs> Let me see here. I'm going to play a little bit more with this. Looking for an old alert box setting. Here, let's see what. Oh, that was a sound. Hey, did that show up? Oh, is there an echo? Oh no. Oh, that showed up. Okay, so if I activate it, it works. Oof, okay, I hope they're, but that was loud? Okay, all right, let me turn that down. Yeah, they're all pretty, oh yeah, they're all pretty loud. 
I'm going to put that down. Down. Thank you. Gently. And 20. How about this? Is that a little better? Or is that, is that still pretty loud? So yeah, if I initiate it, oh, why is my follower count going up? That's not right. Oh, that's better. Okay. And okay, it is doing the text thing. It's just really small. Hang on, let me make that way bigger. Interesting. Well, it's all a learning pro uh, learning as we go. But yeah, I don't know why my follower account goal thing is. So I, I did the whole, I did that follower on the source just to, to verify and make sure it worked, but it counted it for some reason. <laughs> that doesn't seem like that should be the case, but I guess. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. All right. So for this, um, it, it's pretty, um, pretty straightforward. I've never done one before, so, but I've done uh, other embroideries, so hopefully it won't be uh, too difficult. But um, I got needles, scissors. I have to use this guy because I always push through with this finger, and it does hurt. So I just push through with that. Uh, straight edge, so I can make sure that my, um, I guess my pie uh, is, lines are even. Actually, I should probably figure out how to make them all equal as well. I have 12 months in the year. I have to remember that. <laughs> and then um, I use this. I discovered this uh, recently. Here, let's see if I can get it. So there's not a... Where's my light source? Oh, it's on the, f of course, it's on the camera. Water erasable pen. And literally, you can just, it doesn't work on dark colors. Cause, well, it, it still marks it, but you can't see it as well. But it literally just marks it like that. That little dot right there. And then all you have to do is get it a little wet. Well, if I had more than just my saliva, <laughs> gross, I know, but this is for me, so shouldn't doesn't matter. It will completely disappear once it gets completely wet. Here, actually, let me dab my hand really fast. Right, like that, and then it completely disappears. It's very convenient. I, um, I'm still learning how to do all the embroidery and stuff, but it's a, a great tool that I found. Um, all right, so uh, also I am going to mostly be uh, working in black this time. Be oh, excuse me, sorry. Um, because I'm just going to be doing the lines today and then um, January, like the one month and then one icon today. And so um, I'll just be working on that. But I do have a bunch of fun colors. Uh, if anyone cares to know, it's a 5M number 310. How do I get it to focus? It can be like one of those um, makeup tutorial ladies or individuals there we go all right so first we're going to start with drawing these lines out i'm going to try and make it as even as possible this is my only straight edge <laughs> it's not long enough but that's okay oh 
We'll work with what we got. All right. Oh, geez. And I do um, like to like wash and iron your cotton. This is just cotton fabric. Um, I do recommend just like going to your, your local craft store and going through the remnants section um, so you don't have to buy anything full price. They do have like little little pieces and if you're working on small projects like this so you don't need um, like large amount of fabric you can just kind of find what you're looking for. I find cotton is the one of the easiest to work with. Very forgiving. Let's see here. Oh geez. Are you concentrating? Concentrate. Let's see. A little off. It's okay. All right. So there will be nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So if we just do them this way, I'm in my own light. So Myth, did you have a good uh, New Year's? Did you go out and party or did you just stay home? We ended up just staying home. We um, Actually, my girlfriends and I went to a drag show the night before, so I was on the 30th, so I was uh, still recovering from that. <laughs> now, plus, it's nice to not have to be on the roads on, um, on New Year's night. It's always a little scary. Let's see, how do I make this as even as possible? Mm. Oh, I'm also trying to figure out chat commands. Um, I'll eventually do like a question of the day and fun fact of the day, but I didn't know how to do that yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. But question of the day was New Year's resolutions. I know I'm so creative. But um, fun fact, hang on, I wrote it down. First needles were crafted from bone. I was trying to think of something uh, that has to do with embroidery. <laughs> I don't think I would have been able, been very successful doing stuff with, uh, with a bone needle. Just because I already break needles rather regularly. Nice. Oh, did you guys do like a Discord party? That's fun. We did um, a few Jackbox games, but then right at midnight, we went over next door to my boyfriend's folks and watched New York drop. Do they do they still drop the ball? There was confetti. I do know that. Lots of musicians. We were flipping between. I think they did. Uh, um, I think there was like a Nashville show, one in like Disneyland or Disney World, one of, one of the Disneys. We were kind of all over the, like just flipping from channel to channel to see what was going on. Uh, it's a little off, but that's okay. It's just for me, so I don't, it doesn't need to be perfect. It'll only bother me. <laughs> oh, geez. There we go. Oh, dear. That's a bit better. Oh. I do, I should put up a warning on the screen as well. He's fine right now, but I do have a very large dog that uh, barks randomly. And I have him next to me because if he's not, he will just kind of go crazy. I have to 
yell at him to uh, keep him quiet. Dang, this one's a little small, but that's okay. I don't have to follow him exactly. I can just move this line a little bit. But so each one is going to represent a month. And so what I'm just going to do today is just do the straight lines, nothing um, creative. I'll just probably do a back stitch. <gasps> Legion Kate, Cage, thank you so much. And thank you for joining us. And it worked. Yes. I'm so glad that the alert box worked. <laughs> It didn't work on the last one, so I wasn't even sure if it was still, um, if it was activating. So I'm glad that that worked. Yay! Thank you and welcome in. Oh, I've never, I, I've never streamed before. This is my, my very, very first one. So don't worry about it. <laughs> now I have, oh, I think I have 12 followers. Yes! Woo! All right. Um, so, uh, Cage, what I'm doing today is I'm doing uh, an embroidery, or I'm doing the beginnings of an embroidery journal, and um, I use this water erasable pen so that all, once I'm done, you know, doing the lines and everything that I want, all I have to do is get it wet, and the lines will just disappear. It's quite wonderful. Um, but what I'm going to do is uh, I am just going to do these straight lines in black, and I'll probably do each month in black as well. I haven't decided that yet, but um, it's just the beginning, so I'm still, uh, still trying to figure everything out. But, um, oh, geez, a little something. I was telling Myth... Um, I do have a large dog, so if you do hear a big, deep bark, um, I apologize. I'm trying to keep him as quiet as possible by just him being right next to me. Oh, Cage, is there an echo by any chance? Smith had mentioned that, and I wasn't sure if um, that was still a problem. I can try and figure out, figure out how to do that. Like I said, first stream, still trying to figure everything out. But... Um, so I'm going to take this. This is a brand new one, so I have to unravel it. Oh yeah, no problem. Do do whatever. Let's see here. There it goes. why it's knotted. Well, where's the other end, maybe? Hmm. Well, I think I am just going to have to snip it. Oh no, I will never get back together. <laughs> All right. And I just take like an arm's length because if I work with too long of one, it always ends up getting knotted. Let's see here. And because the string is already pretty thick, I like to separate the strings as well. So usually all the ones in here are six stranded strings and I ran out of black because I was doing crafts for um, and pieces for my friends for the holidays and their houses so okay so this is a already a dual or is only so this one's only two strings interesting so maybe I should just leave it keep the main lines pretty pretty bold Oh dear. All right, so yeah, I'll just use this as is. So here, I'll show you guys an example. These guys are different. Wow, different string material in general, interesting. 
So yeah, I had to buy this one separately. So these I got just like on Amazon as like a variety pack of colors just because I didn't have anything and wanted to try it out. So usually, so it is the same, yeah. So this is six, but it's the same thickness as two of these black, uh, two of the black springs. So if I, usually you go and separate so if you want a really thin line, you would only do one strand versus, you know, if you wanted a thicker one, you can add as many as you would like or keep them all together. But so we shall see how this works out because this is a different type of, I've never worked with this thread. I'm very organized. I, I like to, to color combo my my threads. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess since it is thick, I will take it. Just do one. See if I can separate it without ruining the material. Seems pretty. Sorry, I have to use my mouth. Always gets twisted and then you have to unwind it. It's oh it's so so crazy. This is a very thick thick uh, thread. Oh yeah. No problem, and thank you just for stopping by. It was amazing. <gasps> you're my first viewer, you're my first follower. Ah you're my first in everything. Oh dear. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> it's doing all kinds of spinning. There we go. And then this one, she's waste. I'm just gonna spin right back together. All right. And another reason you don't want it too long is because as you pull them apart, it gets harder as they're just gonna keep twisting. There we go. Come on. Twist apart. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. I'm not doing well here. Jeez. Work with me, string. Should have prepped this black string. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult. My other strings are so easy to pull apart. Well, now I know not to buy that brand again. <laughs> Live and learn. Oh, Cage, I have yet to set it up yet, but I'm trying to do a... Oh, and I just broke my thread. Um, yeah, this is not a very good thread. Wow. Well, I'll use it, even if it's just stuffing material. Um, I, I've been trying to put a question of the day. It is a little bit of an echo. Okay. Your camera... Wait, your camera has a mic on it. Oh, interesting. Yes, because I do have my headset on and we were um, using the camera's microphone. Thank you, hon. Um, but there was like a slight humming or buzzing that the, the camera's microphone was picking up. And... Um, but if I use the headset, that humming doesn't occur. So yes, it must be. If you do 
that guy maybe and then turn that off Oh, don't worry, Cage. No problem. Please. I'm just grateful you stopped by. I'm just popping in chat to say hi. I hope that worked. Oh. Yeah, that's the headset. Did you want to try doing the camera mic again? No? Okay. Well, hopefully we, uh, oh wait, you brought this back up. Should I just mute it? No? I'm close? Okay. All right. Hopefully that worked. I tested uh, the follower thing because I was trying to make sure that the sound alerts were working and it counted me as a follower, even though I was just testing it. So technically two of those are not on there. <laughs> oh, yes, two of them. Yeah, so, all right. Well, hopefully this string is strong enough for me to be able to embroider um, just straight lines with it. Hopefully it won't be doing anything too crazy. But, all right, so now we have two separate threads. All right. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was just testing it to try and make sure it worked, but I'll, uh, that's okay. That means I can just reach it on my own. <laughs> Every time I'll just activate it and <laughs> be like, yes. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Oh, what I was saying is uh, I was trying to, I'll eventually have commands in the chat. Ow. And um, one of the commands is going to be question of the day. And I know it's not creative, but the question of the day today is uh, what your New Year's resolution is. And if you even do them, I, I know that it's it's more just a state of mind. But um, some people need them, the New Year New Year's motivation. So like me, I like to start things at the New Year. New Year, new beginning. <laughs> so it begins. Um, so I probably should be using a smaller needle, but like I said, I, oh, and fun fact of the day, that's another command I'm going to be doing. And it, the fun fact today is the first needles were crafted using bone. And all I could think about with that is I would be breaking bones all the time because those, I use a lot of very fine needles as well. And I ended up, I end up breaking them all the time. Um, I don't know why. So I'm just going to use this bigger one and hopefully it doesn't. Um, they're good for uh, the different materials, but since this is cotton, um, I don't need a large needle to get through this. And it might, it'll probably leave a pretty big hole. Yeah. So. Oh, it's hard to see. So you can actually see how big my... It leaves a pretty big hole. That's why I try and use a thinner needle. But Oh, Echo gone? Yay! Awesome. Sorry, I was trying to... Um... Yes, exactly. That's why I'm... I was just like, let's just do it and hopefully we'll figure it out. <laughs> so yeah, I think that the camera was picking up. Um... Picking something up or picking me up. So just nod it. Hmm. Man, I can't believe this thread is so, it's like shearing. Well, that's okay. Just nodding it like you would. 
do. With any kind of sew job, you just put a knot on the back end. Now, uh, when I do embroideries, I do do uh, double the amount of material just to, especially with light material, because even this, even with this, I think it is going to show my backing a little bit, even though I did just, I did double it. Um, nice. Content creation, every time I play a stream on Twitch, record on YouTube. Yes, that's what I, we're record, I'm recording this just so I can upload it on YouTube and just kind of save it as an archive, but that's wonderful. I hope that all of your, your both your plans work out wonder or goals are successful. I, I don't really have any, except this, I, I guess I'm, I'm just trying to be more active online, I guess be more creative, put forth uh, my art, because I do mostly just do art for my friends and family, and all of them tell me I need to kind of put myself more out there and and uh, sell it and just do art for more than just um, them. <laughs> so it's always just gifts. So hopefully. Um, all right, so I think I'm just going to start on one end and hope for the best let's see so there's all kinds of ways you can do just a straight line I just am going to do a simple back stitch um, and hopefully keep them as straight as possible I do um, I do have some hand problems so it might be a little slow going oh so yeah this thread is very frayed interesting Sorry, I just touched the mic. Hmm. Well, I'll give it a nice rusted look, I guess. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep it in front of the camera. Look at all this black from this thread. Wow. Mm -mm. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. Um, are you going to like, uh, down to the islands or any, uh, like the Caribbean? I can't, um, we did a cruise with some friends of ours and yeah, the best part was the food. I was so tired all the time. It was hard to even go, like, I, I don't even think we did ex excursions or anything. We just, um, pretty much went and kind of did some sightseeing and stuff like that, but I just couldn't have, I didn't have the energy to actually like go and be active on anything, but oh my gosh, the food. Oh, so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This string. Oh, the string is going to be frustrating. This might not work out, but that's okay. plan to do a lot of walking on the cruise so like and then um I mean yeah the boat is huge tons and tons of walking sorry I gotta remember to show the camera Urgh, there we go okay so a terrible line. Oh, just fraying. Hmm. And a simple back stitch, I guess I should probably explain that. So up wherever you're coming. You always start, you're obviously you want to hide your knot in the back, but all I'm doing is you go approximately, like whatever your, your distance is, just try and be consistent, I guess, or at least I'm trying to be. Stick it in, you create your one line, then you're going to come up 
the, ex the same distance about, just eyeball it. Wow, there's a lot of. And you're going to go back into here. So back stitch. And then you're coming up through this line, this hole again. Oh my gosh, all kinds of stops. Wow, I've never been anywhere there. Oh, they do have a walking track. Oh, that's nice. That's wonderful. Yeah, so go to the buffet, eat everything, and then walk around, walk it off, and then go back to the buffet. <laughs> eat a bunch again. <laughs> But that is so fun. Oh, I'm so excited. And it'll be nice to get away. I don't know where you live, but if it's cold, it's always nice to go down closer to the equator when it during the winter here just to get away from the cold, cold weather. Yeah, I'm just going to do, I know this isn't very entertaining. I'm just going to do lines. But. I guess I could do fun, like different lines. Maybe we can do, maybe I'll do like a back stitch straight here, and then I can do, I don't know, I can, I'll look up different names. It's the only name I really do know. That's the plan. Love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the cruise that we went on, um, there were, oh, our friends had a kid, and so, oh, so I messed up. I have to. Oh no! Oh my gosh! This thread. It just it just uh, broke again. All right. Hang on. I guess that's fine. I'll just have to keep use them in smaller amounts. So I did go too far. So what I have. To as you, you can see that space, instead of going uh, right here where I should have been, I, I went ahead. And it doesn't use up that much string, but in the long run, I just, it's more consistent and nice. And I've, I've done them where I just, I do it and then I, can, I notice later and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> All right, let me restring it. This dang thread. Hmm. Oh, geez, there we go. Hmm. All right, let's try that again. Um, so yeah, went on a cruise with our friends, and they had a kid, and so there was like a bunch of, um, I think it was. Um, Dr. Seuss themed like they'd have like kid event parties but I mean it was it they catered to all like there was like a casino and a bunch of bars and like adult comedy and like after hour events and stuff like that so it wasn't just like a like a Disney crew oh my gosh <laughs> okay this thread is not working <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> well all right, I'm actually going to pull this all out. I know that was wonderful progr progress. And it tore again. Wow. Okay, well, don't buy cheap thread. I guess that's what we're learning here. And I'm just going to use it as is. And it's just going to be a thick, thick line, which will be fine. Because, um,. I'll be eventually doing just small little icons that will be like different colors and stuff, which I have a, I have a bunch of fun, fun colors. That's the whole, this is where the fun begins is when you get to do all the pretty colors. And so, um, the black was just going to be the outline and then the month name. Oops, I need like a lint roller. All right, well, let's try this again. Mm -hmm. Let's 
string end. And so um, I'm hoping to be able to do this more consistently or be able to do this consistently. And I, I was thinking just every Sunday do a fun little craft. And so since this is going to be a year long project, because it's um, kind of like a bullet journal or like a, a, a daily journal, but instead of every day doing one, I'm only going to do like twice a week. We'll see. Um, but at least every Sunday I'll do one little embroidery and then we'll, I'll do another project. But I like to do all kinds of crafts. So um, I do crocheting, I do uh, fabric art pieces. So I sew them together and do like sceneries and stuff like that. Um, I do watercolor, I love pyrography, which is like wood, it, not like it is wood, burn, <laughs> wood burning. Um, but I also do that on like watercolor paper and then you can watercolor with it. You can also pyrography on wood and then watercolor on the certain watercolors. Like I have my original set didn't work so well. Um, so I had, I got a new set and oh, the colors are gorgeous with the wood. And um, I haven't dabble, dabbled in Scratchboard in a while, but I do love Scratchboard as well. Pretty much, if I can create something, I'm going to try and do it. <laughs> I love creating stuff. I'm a little crafty bitch. <laughs> let's see here. All right, let's try this again. Everyone, keep your fingers crossed. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'll be able to get it in the eye of the... Oh, you know what? Oh, there we go, there we go. I was going to say, I have a tool for that. It's like this little wire that you stick in the eye of the needle, and then you put the thread in through the wire, and then you pull it out, and it just like pulls it through the eye. But we got it. We don't need it. <laughs> It's very helpful with the really small needles that I constantly break. <laughs> um, just because those eyes are so small. All right, let's try this again. And it looks like my spacing was pretty, pretty consistent. So you can actually still see the holes. That's because the needle is pretty big. Cotton doesn't need a big needle, but like I said, I keep breaking those little ones. All right. And um, for like fabric, you should um, just prep it a little. Like you can, if you're doing like a remnant section or like even if you go to like a thrift store and get something, you just throw it in the wash, do it on the gentle cycle or whatever, like if it's cotton, it, it, it's fine. But different materials need to be, obviously, just like clothing, have to be washed different ways. But then I um, iron it, and then um, you throw it in your hoop. You're good to go. It's nice that you can just kind of step away, come to it, step away, and uh, work on it at your own pace. I did a fun, uh, fun uh, baby shower embroidery. It was like an alphabet, uh, like a, um, yeah, it was the alphabet, but with animals. And each of the animals was a, like a line. Um, oh, it's hard to explain. I'll have to send a show picture. Can I do that on? Can you do a picture on your, let's see. I don't know if it'll pick up. Oops. All my inspiration always comes from Pinterest. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh-uh, uh-oh. Someone's outside, Captain might be grumbling. There we go. Oh, 
I'm trying to bring up a picture, but I don't even know if it'll show up on the screen. And I even framed it and everything. Let's see. Oh, a little bit. It's a little hard to see. But this was so much fun. One, you get to have a lot of fun with the colors, but it was so cute. Um, went for a little baby's room. But, yeah, it was so cute. I love anything to do with animals, so. It was a fun little project to work on. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of the year this thing is covered with uh, just a bunch of animals. <laughs> So you're um, supposed to do your little icon depending on um, the day. So I don't know. They It really can be anything. So if you had like, I don't know, the best donut and you put a, a donut or if you uh, went to the park and hung out under a tree, you could do a tree or I don't know, you saw a squirrel and thought that was cool. <laughs> which we actually did this morning. Oh, sorry, I keep hitting the mic. Um, yeah, we were at breakfast and a little squirrel came and joined us, uh, was checking us out, out on the back porch. I'm actually very surprised because our dog um, chases anything and everything. But the wildlife here is pretty brave, pretty brave. When we went into the city to go uh, yesterday, or no, not yesterday, the 30th, uh, day before New Year's. Went to a drag show uh, with my girlfriends, and there was a bunny in the city, like a city bunny, and it was less than like a yard from us. Didn't move, didn't care. It was just doing its own thing. I was like, dang, the animals here are so brave. You're used to the people. So looking better. So yeah, I should not have uh, tried splitting the thread. That's interesting because these guys, you really like they're meant to be split. So they come in six threads together to make, you know, a full thread and this one was only had two. I figured I could still split it, but I guess um, different material. <clears throat> At least it's the same. Uh, it seems like all thread companies use the same numbers for coloring. That's why I picked it, because I knew I needed a 310, which is black. Oh, I have to do the whole... Uh, fancy show showing the material. This is the brand for the black. I think I just got it like at Joann's or something where these guys I got from Amazon. I don't know the I do not remember the brand. I put them all on these. Oh, they have a name and I forgot what their name. <laughs> Oh, you're still at work. I'm so sorry. Oh. Especially right after the holidays. You weren't able to, I'm sure you, were you able to celebrate um, at least a little last night? Or did you have to go to bed pretty early since you had to work? Oh. Let's see. Okay. I'm doing a little back stick stitch action. I like it because it just makes a simple straight line. But oh, <laughs> oh yeah. If you have to, <gasps> it is. Hey, thank you for coming in. Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Cage, you had to be in at 6 a.m. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, my gosh. I do not envy you 
at all. Thank you, Is, for coming in. I'm doing good. I'm uh, trying to. First stream ever. <laughs> and so it begins. Hope you all like puns. You're going to be getting a lot of them. <laughs> but um, good. I am doing a embroidery journal, as I think is what it's called. And um, what it is is each, we're doing like a pie slice here. Each slice will be a different month. And then, <gasps> thank you, Is. Thank you for following me. I'm glad that that uh, sound alert worked. I wasn't even sure um, at first if it was going to work, but it did. So um, each will represent a month, and then I'm going to just do like a small little icon. So today I think I'm going to do the Twitch logo since this is my very first stream, and it's a very uh, big event, I think. So um, once I finish these outlines to separate each month, I'll do like a little icon, a pretty small, and then it'll fill up the entire space. And by the end of the year, it's a year long project, um, there will be, it'll be full of different, um, different little pictures and stuff like that to represent the year. But, um, I, I had a little uh, false start. Unfortunately, I've never worked with this specific thread before, and it kept shearing on me. It just kept falling apart, but that's okay. I'll find some other use for that. But now the whole thing, I need to get a lint roller because there's a bunch of black fuzzies. I don't, I don't think you guys can see it, but I see it. <laughs> But yeah, silly thread. How was your new year? So Cage had to uh, go to bed early. He wasn't able to celebrate, but were you able to celebrate? We, um, we did some Jackbox events with our friends and then went next door to hang out with my boyfriend's family, watched the New York um, I guess ball drop or confetti thing, whatever they do. And I guess there was uh, some concerts in uh, Nashville and Disney World. They were just like switching between different um, different events as we drink champagne. <laughs> oh, it didn't do anything. Hey, just taking it easy. That's good. That's it's good to just take it easy. That's why I'm, I, we did not want to go anywhere. I didn't. I didn't want to go anywhere. But I was also hung over from a drag show the, the night before, so probably had something to do with it. <clears throat> but also, I don't know, who wants to be on the road? Yeah, exactly. Going to places is overrated. Exactly. <laughs> 100%. So is I'll eventually be able to do uh, commands. I didn't, I wasn't able to figure that out quick enough. Um, I know I need like cloud bot. I'm on Streamlabs and I think it's called cloud bot, but I'll figure it out later. But I'll eventually do a question of the day and a fun fact, depending on like what I'm doing and what I'm working on. So since I'm doing an embroidery piece, um, the fun fact is uh, first the first needles were uh, used with bone, which, sorry, Cage, I'm repeating myself, but, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm still, yeah, I'm still learning. I, we, we did have a little bit of an echo, but Cage, um, Cage helped me fix that out. Apparently my camera mic, I had a little, like, buzz action going on <clears throat> in the background from my camera mic, or my, I'm sorry, yes, my camera mic. And so now I'm using headphones instead. Oh, I don't like that. That's a little off. And I think that the camera was still slightly picking me up. So it's kind of creating an echo. I didn't like that. I'm redoing it. It's slightly off. 
Everything has to be kind of a little too perfect. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's just the beginning. Yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to do box alerts, and the, I didn't think the chat box was working, but it is. I, yeah. <laughs> Can't learn until you try. So, uh, oh, and then the question of the day is a very, very creative question. Uh, what's your New Year's resolution? <laughs> I know, very creative. Um, just because it's the first of the year. I didn't thought that was, I guess, suited for the day. But let's see here. My New Year's resolution, I guess, is this. is just trying to be more active on social media, be more creative and kind of, yeah, just create, I guess not be more creative, just create more is, is more what I should say. But. Mm -mm. I think the hardest part is going to be trying to decide on what little icons to do throughout the year really could be anything. I don't want it to just be about food and animals, though knowing me, that's probably what it'll end up being. Or just a few, uh, actually I could do like a bunch of little craft things. <gasps> it's just going to be balls of yarn. <laughs> Thread and yarn. <laughs> right. <laughs> But, um, let's see. Oh, Iz, are you going to be continuing on with Persona 5 or, um, wasn't sure. Oh, uh, what was it? What were you playing before? Um, Elden, Elden Ring. Yeah. Are you still doing that once a week? I feel like I've only seen you play um, Persona 5. I've been I've been um, so busy making gifts for everyone this Christmas. I've been having to lurk. <gasps> and nice, nice, yeah. I really like Persona 5. I definitely got to check that out. I am not good enough to be able to play Elden Ring. I would just, I would rage quit so hard. But I could get behind with some Persona 5. Was that recommended by Root? I know that she's helped play, or like, helped with questions and stuff on it, but I, or I guess, I guess all of your, um, You okay? <laughs> All right, my boyfriend's backing me up here. So this line was a little off. So I am going to kind of go a little bit. Yeah, and that's a little off too. Dang. See, I'm a little too... A little too uh, stuck in my ways. It has to be the right way. <laughs> it has to look good, even if it's just for me. It's even worse when I'm making gifts for friends. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> it says hey. <laughs> Final Fantasy Tactics. What? Oh, oh, nice. nice. Okay. okay. I didn't I know it was already on your list. list. That's, That's awesome. awesome. <laughs> 
cactus is totally not on your list and gave me the other day. Oh. <laughs> Cage also says hello. <laughs> he says hello. All right, let's try that again. So I already put the holes in. I hope that it doesn't, I hope that they go away. We shall see. Yeah, I don't usually, with cotton fabric, I don't usually work with this big of a needle, but all my little ones are broken because I break things easily. <laughs> oh no, my echo is back. Uh-oh. Activate. 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 Okay. All right. Honestly, I think there's a swarm of bats. Check in one, two, three. Hopefully the echo's gone. I did hear what they were talking about, though. Yeah? It, it wasn't there when we first started. Interesting. It's strange that the camera, like, will randomly start picking picking it up. I don't, I don't think it's actually the camera mic. Oh, no. I think it's just something with that headset. Oh, okay. So, kind of a straight line, right? <laughs> no, it's very entertaining watching. Uh, you just do a straight line. Let's see. So, I'm only going to be doing the little icons, yeah, like I said, once or twice a week and but um, I'm thinking Tuesdays and Thursdays of like just actually playing a game oh well, good I'm glad it's better yeah so for some reason my the headset on my headphones resets oh no I got a little knot there we go um, but yeah let it let me know when that happens again because apparently it's just doing it on its on its own Mics have a mind of their own. Um, so I'm thinking Sundays will be craft streams. And I'll do definitely work on this within the first like hour, depending on like what I end up choosing to do as the little icon. Because I know some little icons will be easier to do than others. Um, but then the main stream will be like a new project. So I do a bunch of different types of crafts, so it'll be kind of all over the place. But then the Tuesdays and Thursdays, I think I'll do like Witcher for a little bit. I love Witcher 3 and I'm just can't, I, I could play that game over and over and over again, I, which I have. <laughs> So if I start again, I think this will be my fourth time. I started a new game on Death March again. I think it was my second time doing Death March because first, um, I'm an achievement hunter. So I, uh, oh yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I, you never knew. <laughs> I'm gonna get you to play it on stream is. <laughs> You have played it though, right? I do believe you had mentioned that you had you had played it before. Did you do the DLCs too, or just the main the uh, the main game? I know the the open world isn't for everybody. Like I I'm not a fan of shooters. I I can't do them. I can't come. I I'm terrible at PvP. I can't play with others. So open worlds are. My bread and butter, but everyone has their their different. That's what wonderful about games. They come in all different varieties. Oh, okay, you did do the DLC. Nice. Well, there's two. There are two DLCs. Um, let me see in the back. We've got a back stick 
stitch in action. So each of these has two, you can actually see them. There's two, two runs on them. Yeah, I play them back to back. That's that's the um, that's the only way I've done it. But that's because I wait until the games are released forever, and I like to wait until they're on sale. <laughs> yeah, I, I I wait till the uh, there are reviews out there that there are um, basic guides, basic build, like all that. I like to have a plan before I jump into a game. But um, whenever I play games, I always, always, always have to do the good, like what I think is the good person, like the good decision. And I'm going to force myself to, I'm going to use like a, a decision wheel, I guess a wheel of fate. And um, going to just let that decide the decisions because I I just cannot even though I know it it doesn't matter I know it's a game it doesn't matter but I cannot get myself to just be like yeah do the bad thing <laughs> so I've never had the bad ending for Seer I've had um, I guess spoilers sorry KH are you interested in playing the witcher i don't want to ruin it but um yeah there's i think six different endings for witcher and i've done i've only gotten two endings two different endings before because i always make sure that i i i'm good <laughs> that i make it um as good of an ending as possible. I'm even good to all the peasants. Like, I don't take their money. If it's an option to be like, no, 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 I'm not taking your money, then I don't. I, I'll get money somewhere else. I'll farm um, herbs and stuff. <laughs> Honey. Or, uh, or pelts and get money that way. Plus, I, I spend a lot of time exploring. I do love side missions and, like, uh, exploring the world and it just makes it feel a um, bit more whole I guess like an actual open world <laughs> so yeah I'm hoping that by using like a wheel will get me uh, maybe a not so good ending but we, we shall see I don't, I don't know what will happen, but I have to plan it out. So that's how I was trying to play it again. I started a new Witcher game. I've gone a little more <laughs> well. They <laughs> oh really? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel the. I think it's also because I'm pretty new to gaming. So because I guess Witcher was my introduction into gaming. Like that was my first real game. And I did play Destiny a little bit. Um, never really played Destiny 2. Uh, Neverwinter, which is like a free... Wow. D &D. Or D&D, I'm sorry. Yes, it's not Wow. D&D. &D. It's like a free D&D &D game. So it's very much like that. But um, so I played that and I learned very quickly I couldn't do PvP in that because I couldn't keep up with anybody. Um, but I did like the side missions and they do pretty good campaigns and stuff like that. Um, but Witcher was my first like real true love of gaming. And then I played all the, uh, the newer Assassin's Creeds. I do want to go back and play the originals, um, especially Black Flag. Um, oh, you have heard of it. Oh, so awesome. awesome. I wasn't sure how popular it was. I mean, I'd assume it's pretty popular. Every time I've been on there, it's there's tons of people online. So, um, But there's tons of people in the world. 
But, um, yeah, not a fan of PvP. In the, yeah. I don't... And that game, because it's free, you can pay to get better equipment. Um, and I don't do that. <laughs> I just kind of grind to get good equipment. And there's no way you can keep up with the people who have bought, like, the best stuff. All right, so there's one line, slow and steady, but we're getting there. So I did go a little bit off just to open this up a little bit. <clears throat> All right, now, hmm, I'm contemplating if I should tie off or just go directly over here. So it would be a line just like that, or I can tie off, knot it, cut it, and it would probably be the exact same amount of yarn, or string, not yarn, sorry. So I think I'm going to just, oh, okay, warning, my dog might bark, our neighborhood kid got a little four-wheeler or something for Christmas and has been enjoying it a lot, <laughs> but my dog does not enjoy it. <laughs> oh. Um, I'll eventually, I'll, um, oh, definitely, they definitely do that on purpose to get, it's like um, microtransactions or those loot boxes and stuff like that, same concept. It's terrible. I haven't played Neverwinter in forever, but that was one of the first games I played. Oh, yeah, he's okay. I'll eventually um, uh, get a camera for him because he's adorable. Well, he's a dog, so what dog isn't adorable? What animal isn't adorable? I even think snakes are cute. And bugs. Some bugs are very cute. Oh, little roly polies. <laughs> All right, so I don't think that this is actually going to make it all the way, but that's okay. That's what we have extra string for. All right. But, um, and then, like, if I eventually am able to have, uh, channel points and stuff like that, I'll do, like, um, give him a treat and, uh, put on... The dog camera, that kind of thing. I've seen, I've watched, um, Baby Bagel does that for her cats. She has, like, a cat camera for her. They have, I think, five cats. Oh, so jealous. If we could have all the dogs in the world, I would. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll, we'll live on a farm and I'll just get all the senior dogs that weren't ever able to find homes and give them a forever home out and out in the out on a farm. <laughs> oh, look at all the doggy emotes. <laughs> Did Twitch come up with new dog emotes or are those from other channels? Cuz I know they had quite a few, but I don't recognize any of them. Oh my gosh, that third one looks exactly like my girlfriend's. Oh, she her doggy just died right before Christmas. Doesn't that look like Lila? And, um, oh, those are old ones. Oh. I've never noticed that. I just like the, the, oh, my dog emote. I use that one a lot. <laughs> Well, you know. <laughs> Good boy, Captain. Yeah, my doggy's name is Captain. As Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Yes, that is his full name. <laughs> they have hype train ones that cycle every few... Oh, okay. Yes, I love that one too. Yes! <laughs> I love emotes can't wait. I'm gonna, I still have to figure out 
obviously, since this is my first stream. Hmm. Long way off, but it'll be so much fun customizing and creating my own emotes. Oh, that's nice. From about a year ago. Nice. Mm -mm. <gasps> that would be amazing. Heck yes. <laughs> I'm sure they'd uh, love watching me uh, do backstitching for three hours. <laughs> this is the most boring part. Yeah, once I get all the little emotes, it'll be a lot more fun. But that'll just happen once in a while, so. Um, yeah, I'll do, uh, I like doing lots of other crafts, so I haven't figured out exactly the schedule, but it'll be themed, so like uh, this month it's going to be, um, oh, I'm talking to you, yeah. <laughs> um, this month, I'll try and do my crafting around the months, so like themed, so I'll do little winter hats since it's January so I'll do like maybe some crochet or not uh, maybe I will be doing uh, one stream will have a crocheting of a winter hat um, I was thinking like a winter scene of a fabric piece so layering different pieces of fabric and creating kind of a wintry scene even though it's not s wintry, it is winter here, but there's no snow. Um, it's been, we've been getting this crazy heat wave. It's crazy. But I think something big's coming. But, um, but I, I want to do it in uh, different crafts and different mediums, but they will kind of have, so like February, obviously like Valentine's Day and all the hearts and candy. Um, but then, yeah, focusing on The Witcher to begin with. It's a pretty long game. I haven't decided um, exactly what I'll do after I finish The Witcher, because I do want to go through, like, all the DLCs and everything. Like, even even in the DLC, I, I have to always have the, the good ending on that as well. I, I have never had the ba bad ending on that. I, I can't do it. <laughs> But um, if the wheel thing works, and I do, you know, it is, we'll see. Um, maybe I'll just focus on, like, decision-based games, and then do just always have the wheel decide my fate on those, just to force me to, even on games I've never played. I'll just have to do research on what games have like different endings like the witcher I, I know there are tons out there um and then like when the decisions come up so i can do some pre-planning and make sure i'm ready because even in the witcher some of them are timed okay thanks so you're gonna take captain okay he's gonna take captain so hopefully no random barking because he has a big bark it is you can feel it in your chest he's a big boy um, he probably needs to go out too if you wouldn't mind thank you someday we'll have a fenced in yard that would be wonderful you can just let him out and bark at the world our neighbors love us, I'm sure. Seems like everyone in my neighborhood has dogs, but I do feel like Captain barks the most. Even though I try and keep him to be quiet, he, he is quite vocal. He's, um, he is actually a Great Pyrenees. They're, um... They are like a, not like, they are a giant breed of dog. They're all white and really fluffy and fuzzy. They have very long her, uh, hair. Uh, they were originally bred 
in the Pyrenees Mountains between France and Spain. That's where they got their name. And they'd work with the sheep uh, herders to protect the livestock. They didn't actually do any of the herding. They, like a different dog breed would do that. I believe they did um, like a like a collie. I, I do not remember what type of herding dogs they would work with, but they don't, they actually don't, do, they never do any of the herding. They are literally just guardian protecting dogs. Um, oh, I'm sorry if you can hear that. He is outside the room, but he is barking. But, um, gosh, I love them. They are, because they're so big, they're, so, they're just lazy, um, sleep all day. They're, very, they're nocturnal, so he does walk around the house just making sure the house is safe in the middle of the night. And then, um, but yeah, since he's a big dog, he uh, pretty much all his energy just goes into existing. <laughs> But he's, um, oh, someone's shooting off fireworks, I guess. Also, something my dog doesn't like. <laughs> Going a little faster now. As I get in the groove, I'm about to run out of string or thread. Oh, yep. So, um, the reason I actually chose to get a Pyrenees is because growing up, my folks, we lived on a farm, and they'd breed them. Because we also had alpacas and cattle and horses and stuff like that, and so we'd use them as protecting, like, guard dogs as well. But, um, gosh, they're just absolutely lovers. They're... There's, I, I would say all dogs are, really. It's just how you'd raise them. But um, they especially, like they, just like Great, uh, great Danes, they just want to be on your lap. They think, they think they're these little dogs. They think that they can fit right on your lap. But, I mean, I guess they can. It's just they're going to crush you. <laughs> He's actually pretty small for the breed. He's only, um, well, I say only. He is one, uh, 125, I believe. That's what he was measured at the vet the last time. And um, they that's about the size of the females. Males are usually um, 15 to 25 pounds bigger than the, the females. And the heat, they have these beautiful manes they kind of have like the lion mane um around their neck and that was actually for defending um off of so when they would protect against like wolves and bears and wild dogs and that kind of stuff really anything and um usually those animals go for the neck and the whole point of their mane is so that they grab onto the fur and all that instead of any vital organs. So, um, I watch a lot of dog, or I used to watch a lot of Dogs 101 when I actually had cable. <laughs> cable. It was cable anymore. Actually, I think a lot more people are going into it because streaming is so crazy now. You have to pay for each individual one and the prices are out the wazoo oh no we're getting close to the end this thread that is okay maybe do a few more I'm just gonna have to keep oh no all right, one second. I have to go get the... I have a device that helps uh, keep the get the wire in, or get the thread into the 
into the eye. Okay, I'm back. So this, this device, very simple. It's very like, I don't know, I, I got this all in the set, in a set with this stuff. Um, it's kind of a all-in-one on Amazon. But this little wire right here, you stick through the eye of the needle like that and then you stick your thread through there and then you pull it and now it's in the eye <laughs> as I just throw it across <laughs> whatever whatever works I could do three more with the amount of thread I have left. Concentrate on trying to. Uh, so, probably should have followed this. It didn't feel like it was going that far off. Whoops. Nope. You put those blue lines on there for a reason, and I don't even follow them. <laughs> oh, winter stinks. It's already dark out. <laughs> and I'm in my own light. <laughs> yes. Uh, Maybe one more. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. And that's it. So I might not get to the icon today, but I will make sure to do it on Tuesday. Like I'll finish all this up, all these lines. And I can actually, yeah, I'll just start wherever we end. I can at least do one because it's just based on the month anyway. So as long as I just focus on the one month, I don't even have to do the whole outline right now. But I was trying to get ahead of the game. So I got one thread, so I'm going to need a few. That's okay. It's one at a time. My goodness. Okay. I don't want it to be too long. I go woo about that. That's that's pretty long. That's that's about as long as I'm willing to work with. That's where it's gonna start. Knotting up. So I create two little knots on the end. I might not even just do one. We'll do two anyways, just to be safe. If this uh, string was thinner, I would definitely do three or four. I've this this string is pretty thin, and that one I have to do four, or it will 
it it's small enough where it'll actually even pop through even after even with the knot this let's see yeah let's just use this don't normally need it with this but since this thread is so thick it doesn't really want to go into the eye as well there we go have to start brainstorming ideas for the rest of the month and use for icons. I guess icon is the word. I it, They're just little pictures. And you could even do words where you can make it your own. That's, that's the, just like a bullet journal or um, uh, really anything creative you can. Patterns are good to start with to learn, but you feel comfortable even if you don't feel comfortable enough with it you can just make it your own no matter how you want <clears throat> but I don't know I don't have any ideas of what I'm gonna do for the rest of the month we'll have to see if anything happens maybe I should uh, do the witcher medallion the wolf medallion on Tuesday that would be fun. I think they're coming out with a new Witcher game. If I remember correctly, I think it had something to do with the cat. Um, or should I have? Just keep going straight, I guess. Uh, the cat school at least that's I think it was just like a teaser picture with uh, a medallion kind of covered in snow and I think the internet has decided that it was the cat medallion which is fun I think that they should do more with the other schools and stuff like that I'd love to see more of the witcher world <laughs> change his mind I guess I yeah captain come here he just doesn't know yeah the fire fireworks really uh, set him off he gets all worked up poor baby you wouldn't think like he'd be all he's <laughs> he's a big dog you would think oh no a big dog he can't be afraid of anything no he's like motorcycles but that was, I had a friend that, that was his fault. He like revved his engine while I was walking my dog to be cool. And I was in the middle of training him. He was still a puppy. Oh, yeah. So now he's always has a problem with bikes and motorcycles. It's the, I think it's the wheels don't help either, but the sound for sure. And I don't know what it is with, um postmen and delivery men I, I do the big trucks I understand but he can hear the delivery guy like the the mailman's vehicle from blocks away like they must they do use a much smaller vehicle and that's been everywhere we've lived we've lived in he's nine and a half and uh, gosh he's been in Three, four. This is his fifth state he's lived in. Every single uh, mailman. It does not matter where <laughs> we live. He has a problem with the mailman. <laughs> and they come every day, except Sunday, obviously. So I, you'd think he'd get used to it. Excuse me. So, yep. Pups all different things set them off. <laughs> oh, what I was saying about Witcher, I I do really hope that they explore some of the other schools. Maybe get 
like to see more of the world. I'm really sad about how Netflix has handled the actual show. I was so excited about that. and I read the books after I, I played the, the game. And the first one was fine, but man, that second one, they veered off. So I was so confused and so many different times. I'm like, I don't remember this. I know it's been a while since I read the books, but I don't not remember any of this. And I found out it was because it literally, they just made stuff up. And it's kind of sad because the books are good. The stories are good. They didn't need to like add anything or change anything up. I mean, I understand it's a TV show, so they have to do things, some things differently, but to just kind of make stuff up out of nowhere, I, I was just kind of taken aback. And then the whole Henry Cavill thing, he was such a great Geralt. I wasn't sure at first, because tell you the truth, he's very handsome. <laughs> and I, did, I think Geralt should be pretty like rugged and like I, I guess he he plays it very well I just for when they first cast him I was like the Superman guy isn't he he's not like rugged <laughs> but it worked they did well and he loves the he loves the uh the games and the books and everything like that and so it's it's really nice to actually see actors and care for the part they play and really really just want to see it brought to the best light and it's really sad how it's ended up so I did make these a little too small whenever you do them you really should have quite a bit more fabric but this is all I have at the time at this moment and it's fine because it's one well, it's just for me so and it's not gonna stay in the hoop um, well it will for the year but once I'm I finish it I I'm not intending on keeping it in here forever but um, what you can do eventually is sew all your ends together and they kind of curl in and then you can put uh, like cardboard or even just a felt fabric to put a backing on it and it um, creates a back and then you can hang it up. I like these wood ones because they're cheap but you can also, um, I, I like to watercolor them or you can stain them if you like have wood stain and stuff like that but I like watercolor because then you can bring in all the colors you want. You want to do blues or greens or reds. Um, I did one for this last Halloween. It was a spider web and I stained the wood black. And so it was like a really eerie gray black too. And then on black fabric. And then the spider web was uh, white just to kind of make it pop. And then I like cut out a little um, paper spider to hang from below. Just a little like piece of um, just like decor. <laughs> I guess everything I create isn't really useful. It's more just to look cute and collect dust. <laughs> but that's okay. I really like to make ornaments too. Um, I've been trying to create different patterns and I've been making sure to make my own patterns. I do like to learn like new techniques off of YouTube and stuff like that. But um, once I understand how a pattern works and what I need to do, I kind of just do it on my own to make my own pattern. And I've been making these little ornaments. Um, so like I was saying, once uh, one Sunday this month, I'll be doing these little winter hats. They're so cute. Um, I made them up for all my friends and family for Christmas two years ago. And um, they're pretty fast. But I, that's the other reason I like doing ornaments is because I can do them rather quickly. And I can take breaks in between where if you're doing like a crocheted blanket, blanket or something, something it, it takes, takes days, days or weeks. weeks. You, you have, have to stop. stop. And then, and then come, come back, back to it. it. It's, it's just, just 
it's fun to do and um but I don't know I feel I feel like I've been more productive when I make a bunch of little things versus one big thing but the blankets have always only been for my my girlfriends they all uh all our friends are having babies it's like uh, everyone has been cooped up in quarantine or something and uh people were having fun <laughs> And so I was making baby blankets for, for all my friends. I still need to do one more. Maybe I'll do a few rows of that on stream, because I they they don't they don't watch Twitch. I actually don't. None of my IRL friends um, are on Twitch, so I can make things on here. And without spoiling any any surprises for them. <laughs> so I did miss, I did miss, there's a little space right in between there. So I am going to go back and fix that because I have a problem. <laughs> There we go. Yay, I didn't need the tool this time. Because sometimes my fingers want to work and sometimes they don't. Um also I uh my hands do change colors and and stuff through like I just have really bad circulation. Um, so if my hands start turning purple or white or something, don't, don't freak out. <laughs> it's very normal. <laughs> Should have all kinds of warnings on my screen. Warning, warning, dog may bark. Warning, warning, my hands were going to turn random colors. Don't freak out. <laughs> oh no, what happened? There we go. Nice. So now... I can't see the space at all. Fixed it. I know. Unnecessary, but it makes me feel better. <laughs> so yeah, I think I will only do the last of this chord, and then I am going to... I'll do... The word January. I ha I don't know if I want to do the full word or just the J A N. Probably I could fit a full. So I've seen it where they put the name of the month right here on this line. Um. Oh, and it was supposed to have a space in the center. Oh well, I'll figure it out. Um, in the center, it was supposed to say two, uh, 2023. Good job planning, Fawn. <laughs> Jeez. Um, good job planning. But, uh, planning for that. <laughs> but, uh, I'll figure it out. So I'll probably do the, yeah, I'll do the name of the month at the top of the pie slice, I guess where the crust would go. And then the filling will be all the little icons and the little like memories. And maybe I'll put like the year on one of these edges or something just out of the way. Because uh, I have seen them where it's in the center. I. Uh, that's my bad. I, I did not plan properly. I just jumped right into it. Now I gotta, I gotta trim this. Keep picking him up. There we go. Yeah, 
So this will at least get me to here, I think. And then I'll pause there, work on one of the months. But yeah, I think, the more I think about it, I think the Tuesday one will be a Witcher medallion, since I'm starting, since I'd like to start that. And should be enough space to do two a week, but I don't want to force myself to do it. It should be more like a, I mean, I've seen them where it's every single day. So you have 365 little icons on here, but I, that's a lot of work. <laughs> and um, I want to do other creative things as well. And really the little icon shouldn't take too long, but I'm trying, I don't know. I don't want to have repeating icons, so I don't want to have like um, a bunch of the same stuff. So I think if I limit the amount I do, one, it'll be easier to space them out, but two, I won't have to repeat, or I won't accidentally repeat, hopefully, and if I plan it out a bit. I'm going to go online after this and figure out um, inspiration. <laughs> I find all my inspiration on Pinterest and go on there all the time. So I know people scroll through TikTok, people scroll through Twitter and Reddit and Instagram. I scroll through Pinterest looking at other people's crafts. <laughs> other people's art. I'm pretty sure Pinterest is used for other things, but I've never ventured down the, down that way. Oh, you know what I could do? Maybe I'll keep a space. So I'm thinking I can put that down here. I'll continue down and then I'll leave a space about right here and it can be the 2023 since this is that year I have to keep reminding myself I'm sure we'll all be writing 2022 for the next two months until we actually remember that it is a new year I know I do that I think that that will be good and then if that's the case then I could make this January so it so th it would be this way this would be j January and the year could go right below and it would go all the way around to December so I could do that. Like I said, the wonderful thing about doing your own crafts is you can make it your own. Actually, can't find the hole. There we go. Okay. Since I'm not sure how I feel about that, I am going to actually go up. This whole middle area isn't going to be full anyways. Hmm. Contemplating cutting and taking some out so it is in the center. so indecisive. <laughs> oh, there we go. I have to keep tightening it. Maybe I should. There we go. It did. It did loosen up a little. Yeah, cheap ones don't hold too well, but that's okay. They do the job. Just have to kind 
be on top of keeping it tight. So I do that. Yeah. Yep. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> There we go. Almost did that again. All right. So I'm actually going to go up this way. So we'll create a line right there. Right there. And then I will pause, decide where my January is going to be. At this point, it will probably be this guy. And then um, I can work on the little twitch icon. I gotta find the right purple. It's actually pretty similar to the purple I chose for the follower goal thing. And I think my text uh, message color as well. I think that's twitch purple. That's what happens. The longer strings, they just love to get little knots. So I have to kind of work them out. There you go. To make sure I'm not accidentally double backing. There we go. <clears throat> so um, again, this is a back stitch. Very, uh, I would say one of the first stitches you learn in sewing or embroidery and all you're doing is going in one way and you jump ahead a little bit trying to keep the same spacing the whole time so it's a little close there you go the same hole <laughs> and then you're going back into the lat to connect. There you go. And so you come out and you're just going to go right back in and popping out on the front and start again. So start and then you just leap ahead a little bit. Could have done a more creative line, I guess. This is simple, and the focus isn't on the lines. The lines are just separating the months. But I have seen them where they they do different lines. So one line would be the, the back, and then another would be a different stitch, and then another line was a different stitch. And it was cute, but I thought a bit too distracting for... Cause by the end of the year, there, this is going to be overwhelmingly, like, just so much stuff going on because of uh, all the little icons. So, figure, keep it simple. Oh, I got a little off my line. I got to go back. Let's try that again. Maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hand is starting to ache a little. That's okay. Oh, my gosh. Go back in. Did not want to go back in. There you go better. Mm -mm. 
Mm-hmm. So uh, one of these months I'll be, or one of these uh, Sundays, I will be doing um, pyrography of a little wood ornament I made. All, uh, all the family little portraits. So I um, pretty much burnt. Pyrography is just using a soldering device on wood or watercolor paper or whatever your medium is as long as it can take the, the heat. And, um, and doing just a little burning on it and you can do all kinds of shading, simple outlines. Really, It's very, it's a lot of fun. And the smell of bur- burning wood is always, uh, is nice. But, um, I made, uh, little ornaments. They're about that big. Uh, next time I, I know that they make much larger ones. And so when I do it again, I, I would, I would do bigger ones. They work a bit tight, um, spacing wise for, um, for a portrait, but um, I did outlines of them, and then I wrote their name on the back, and then I did like little watercolor, um, not com- like completely, because I wanted to have the wood grain still show through, it just was a little color to add. Um, but I'm going to be doing one of those, and instead of a portrait of an individual, I'm actually going to be doing her dog. She um, she lost her, her baby. It was a very uh, old dog that was having lots of health problems, but it was still her first, her first dog. So, I mean, whether it's your first or your hundredth, it's still hard. But I know it's even harder when you've never experienced that before. Um, I was going to do it. It was actually supposed to be our Christmas gift this last year, or this Christmas, but uh, it felt like it was a little too soon because she passed literally right um, before Christmas. So I'm going to hold off and wait a month or two to give it to her just as a little, little memory. But it's going to be a cute little ornament. And, um, I don't know if I'm going to watercolor it or actually do shading in it since it is a dog versus, um, the other ones were portraits of people and, and a few kids. And so, um, those obviously like they were wearing clothing and they have their hair color and their skin tone and all that stuff. So I, that's pretty much what I did with the watercolor is I... Um, made those areas pop and then um, did some color on the like names and stuff like that but wanted the grain to really shine through Ah, keep going off my line a little it's gonna be a big one I guess I'm gonna be doing lots of stuff in February (laughs) I can kind of move it over it's gonna look a little weird but that's okay But um, I'll be doing that on stream, and I'm interested to see how that works. I guess it would just be the same, but uh, it's like a box, and it kind of does vibrate when it's on. So I wonder, since the the camera microphone did pick up a humming sensation, I wonder if it's going to hear that as well. It might be too distracting to do a full stream with it. But I could do a little bit just to show you guys, because it is a really fun process. Um, my mom is very creative as well. Both my parents are, but my mom actually got into did a little pyrography when I was little and of the house uh, that we used to live in. It was she did a full like front house portrait. It was very cool. And like I said before, the smell of wood is very nice. (laughs) So, yep. 
that's on the plan or on the schedule. I do need to actually put a schedule on my Twitch account. I'll do that after um, stream ends. I'll actually update my whole profile and um, maybe actually add some panels and stuff. We'll see. <laughs> see how how creative or how uh, productive I can be this evening. I already have a few of uh, the panels like made. I did uh, some artwork. I just drew them myself. It was hard because I uh, could not get the ratio, like the um, pixel. I, I feel like I was making everything too large. Okay, I think I'm going to tie off here. I do have a bit extra. Like I said, I'll do January. Single knot. And we'll do another, just for safe measure. There we go. Cut that. Oh, <laughs> my cheap little scissors. Didn't want to cut that. All right. So now. So. Yeah, I think I will keep this space open and I'll do the 220, or I'm sorry, yeah, 2023 right here. And then I'll make this my January, which I will need more string than that. So get another. This one doesn't have to be as long, just longer than that little guy. Oh, there. Turn it into chaos here. There we go. All right, double knot. Oh, really babying my mimosa over here. to be with breakfast but that was a very long time ago <laughs> so I missed my so I missed doubling up so now I have two knots right next to each other so when that happens I end up just doing another one to try and pull them together um, like that now it's a really really big knot <laughs> Right. So we'll take this and I think I'm just going to try and keep it all uppercase. I could do. I feel like if I did cursive, it would be hard to tell with how thick this string is. So yeah, I think I am going to do three letters, the the short shorthand for the month, and all uppercase. So we'll just kind of try and keep it in the center. Eh? Okay? Maybe? That is shorthand for January, right? <laughs> Do I need to double check myself? Yeah, J. I I just I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, I'm just being dumb. <laughs> some reason it didn't look right. 
My brain's not working. All right, so for this, um, I will do a back stitch as well. But what I like to do with lettering, actually, that's a little close, so I will I will bring that in a little far. Um, I will go back and actually, uh, I don't know what the term is called, where you, I won't even be in the back of the, back here, I will actually just be in the front, and I just go in each loop, and it makes it a solid line. It Instead of here, you can really see each individual back loop. Uh, when I do that, it makes it look like a line, um, and I think it makes words look better, at least. Um, unless, like, I've, I did a cross-stitch piece, um, and it was meant to look like a cross-stitch kind of a work, and so I didn't do it on that one. <laughs> that one was a lot of fun. Um, my... One of our girl, uh, friend, girlfriends has, uh, they got a new house and she's trying to decor, uh, do some decorations and stuff and um, she wanted an embroidery or cross stitch um, quote of, oh, I don't actually know the name of the song, but am I gonna get in trouble if I say song lyrics on here? I don't know. Um, it's the, to the window, to the wall, to the sweat drop down my balls, that, that, that song, <laughs> I did, uh, that lyric, those lyrics, and then I did, um, some, she wanted to do pinks in the bathroom, and so she's gonna have it in the bathroom, and I did these cherry blossoms underneath it so it kind of looks like an old tiny cross stitch but then when you look at it you're like wait what are those lyrics <laughs> that was a lot of fun to do um, should do more of those little I do like the punny um, embroideries as well um, puns are fun in general but uh I know that they have quite a few patterns out there already that um, are just really good inspiration. Lots of puns out there. So, we do that. And so it's a J. Little J. And I come up halfway in between the last stitch I just did. So I'm coming out oh, focus. Like right in the middle. I didn't mean to catch any of the fabric. There we go. And all I'm gonna be doing is going under the stitch that we came up into. And then I'm, that same direction every time, you're kind of creating a twist. Like that. Oh, this string might be too thick for this, actually. Hmm. Let's, let's just see how this looks, and then I'll decide. Yeah, I think I came up and accidentally snagged some of that so it doesn't look exactly the way I was hoping it would. So let's, let's keep going with it. So what you do is just slide in between or under that uh, stitch and boom! So instead, oh focus camera, oh Black is hard to tell, but it's definitely a little bit bulky. And that little, I don't like how that kind of pops out there, but that's okay. <clears throat> 
It kind of looks like a fish hook, actually. That's funny. I put a little eye on top of it. And then I go into the very first stitch. Yeah, it's pretty bulky. This, this string is a lot thicker than what I'm used to working with. Hang on, I think. Oh, my headphones are about to die. Let me find a charger. One second. Need a USB connector right there. I wonder if it'll charge that way. I'm so not tech savvy. All right, hopefully that works. Don't mind the random cable that's going to be popping in and out. <laughs> okay, just finished this January. Price is ready. Let's just verify. I think I am still good. Let me. Okay. Okay. I think we are still good. All right. <laughs> Kind, kind of a mess, mess back, back there, there now, but, but that's okay. I think I have a knot. I do have a knot. Oh, oh no, that's, that's where my yarn, yarn started. started. Of, of course, course I have a knot. It's an intended knot. All right. right. Work on the A. does not want to come through. I'm right on the edge of the oh, the ring. There we go. Just a little tight. Yeah, you know what? I do not like how this turned out on this J. It's going to bother me. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Watching me pull thread all day. Take this guy out, and all I'm going to do is take out this, yeah, that didn't pick up both of them, oh no, oh no. What did I do? Still only pulling one. Let me just grab that guy. There he is. He doesn't want to come. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Why 
did I do this to my Oh, and I just broke my thread. thread. This thread is horrible. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Wow. Well, you, you live, live and learn. learn. There, there we go. go. Yeah, it's so only for this area, area anyway, so. so. So, so whenever, whenever I'm pulling, pulling things out back like that, that I really have to utilize the needle. And you're just gently pulling them out like that. Especially with not such good thread. Not that strong. Thread, th th uh, thread strength is just so important. But when you're buying thread, they don't really let you test thread strength in the store. <laughs> On the shirt. So I, I really apologize if that is still an issue. Um, please let me know if it's, it's too much of an issue. Okay. And I'm just going to let these charge. Maybe that's a good thing. Okay, um, it says it's picking it up. All right, well, hopefully we're all right. Okay, get back to destroying this J. My goodness. should actually be making sure it's in front of the camera. There we go. There it is. Struggling. What? Why is it not picking them both? And it's already fraying so badly. Oh my goodness. Might not work. Nope. Nope. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to uh, cut it out. There's my string just frayed again. Oh my goodness. Trying not to get the fabric. Ah! Being so scary. Okay, I'm gonna do it from behind as well. Oh 
when it gets this bad, you just have to cut them out. Oh, it's terrible. The string. Oh, there we go. That worked. Pull it out. <clears throat> Try again. Thanks for all staying to watch me struggle. <laughs> oh, next time I'm at the store, I'll just pick up some better. Or I'll just use Amazon. Amazon is where I got the other black thread. Maybe I can figure out what brand they were. And I'll get that. All right, let's try this again. <clears throat> I'll get there eventually. There we go. Nice big knot. All right. Now, no more flossing in between. We're just gonna do a straight um, sew back or uh, what? I already I'm brain farting on what I want to say. Piggyback. There we go. Doesn't help that this yarn is so thick. All right. So just follow in under the same holes so you can actually still see them. Oh, there we go. Not the most even, but they still look good. Good to go into the same hole. <laughs> so my craft streams on Sundays, I think they'll be pretty short. I, we're only at 220. And I would like to keep them for the Sunday. Keep them really busy. Um probably four hours, but I, I don't, it really depends on how I'm feeling as well. My health is very up in the air, play it by ear, kind of every day is whatever happens. Um, I just want to make sure I'm not overwhelming myself too much um, every day. That's why I was only thinking of streaming Tuesdays and Thursdays. Try and keep a routine, but not overdo it and let myself be flexible um, but Tuesdays and Thursdays because I can get lost pretty uh, pretty quickly in games I probably will do rather long ones but again it'll all depend on how I'm feeling that day so I'm not gonna give myself like playing from this time to this time I think I'm just gonna have designated start times and if I feel like playing eight hours I'll play eight hours if I feel like I can't and I can only play you know one or two then I'll only play one or two just to not overdo it but on crafting just because my hands are so uh, finicky I guess um, I don't want to do too much especially holding the needle little things like that um, pencils depending on depending on what medium I'm working in so pyrography the the thing is actually rather big it's it's um, it's a larger thing to hold which is easier to hold um, 
so I can do that a bit longer and it's it's warm which is better for my my hands and my body so um, I can paragraph you usually pretty much longer than I can say embroider <laughs> um, oh that's much better yeah I don't know why I was thinking I should do that Let's see, so we'll just do the end of this January, and then we'll do Twitch, a little Twitch icon, and that'll be it. But we still gotta figure out our colors. That's the fun part. <laughs> I'm actually going to message my boyfriend and because he's actually playing in the basement making sure the puppy's quiet um see if they're that he could hear the hum still because it is very strange that it is doing it's like he at first thought it was like the tea he's picking up the tv or picking up maybe the fan from the computer um but still got to play with it quite a bit Right there. Oh, it does not want to go in. Here we go. Huh? Being pretty cute. Even though it's just Jan. <laughs> and last one. high up there keep in line there we go and that's it I'll tie off just a little all that black fuzz I need I'll, I'll let roll it it'll look better once it's all it's all that fuzz from the shredded thread all right so now we're just gonna knot off again <laughs> Two for safety. My goodness. Where we are, we live very close to a highway and someone is having fun on their motorcycle. <laughs> All right, we'll save that. Voila! All right. Let me message really fast. And then we'll pick out colors. And I think it's just white and purple. I'll have to bring up a reference picture. <laughs> Hear buzzing. Okay. Oh my little shreds of falling apart thread. These are really good though for um, stuffing little ornaments though. So I, I don't really, I don't, even if it's just little bits of, of string, it can be balled up and I can, and not, I have quite a bit of it and it just, it's um, good for doing little stuffing projects. So, so it is purple, white, and black. So I guess I could do a little more black. But, these are all the purples. 
purples and pinks, blues, and then like blue greens. Ooh, there we go. I don't have like a perfect purple, but these could work. These are pretty close. Oh, the color is so different on camera. Wow, they, these, they look like blue purple on camera, but they're very purple. Yeah, I think this one. Let's see, I do have this one. Mm, it's too mauve. I like colors. I um, My dad is a uh, painting contractor, he owns his own business and stuff, but uh, we always had those um, painting fans. They were <laughs> like this thick of just color palettes. Oh, I loved just looking through those. Um, little color nerd. <laughs> All right, so we'll do that one, and then I will just do like an off-white. This is pretty off-white as well. So actually, if I do a bright white, it actually might be, let's see. Hmm. Which one's a bright, that's my bright white. Yeah, let's use that bright white. And we'll use a little bit of the black. We shall see. And then I'm going to pull up a Twitch image just for reference. Huh? Actually, I could just use, I think I'm just going to do the purple and do the outline. So like this. And we'll just do the outline and then leave the back so I don't even need the white. Even better. So I'll put the white away. There we go. I have the purple. This eh, is good enough. Close enough. Don't have all the fun purples. All right. Now I know with this thread I can work with pretty easily. Probably don't need a lot. And uh, if anyone would like to know, it is 3837, or I'm sorry, 3837, wow. Wow, let's see if it actually can pick up that color. Oh, that's a bit better. It still looks so blue. I don't know why the, it's quite purple. <clears throat> and I will need to separate this one. And this one, I think I'm just gonna use two, th two threads. We'll keep it pretty thin. Yep, that's much easier to pull apart. I do have to still use my mouth. <laughs> and no fraying, no breaking, quite strong thread. And boom. So that's our thread. This will be an extra. With my extras, I just wrap them right back around there and uh, use them for the next project. And this one I will do like three or four knots just to make sure. Oh, 
That's two knots. That's definitely not as big as the black thread. So, but I do think three will be perfectly fine. All right, and <laughs> where'd my needle go? Oh my gosh, the amount of times I lose my needles. I'm either breaking them or losing them. This one's a nice thick needle, I find. I have never broke one this big. It's always the really thin, small, um, small ones and they usually always break right at where the eye of the uh, thread is for me like where the where the eye connects to the, the staff all right so I guess I could draw it on do a little little drawing and kind of make it a little off kilter maybe Um, it's just a squirrel. Okay. Boop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do a little thing. And then two little eyes. Boom. Now it's Twitch logo. This pen is so nice. Um, I, so I was trying to show earlier how you can just wet it, but it did come back and that's because I was, I had hardly any water. I Usually I just run it on under the faucet. Um, so I'll, once everything's done, um, it'll, I'll run it under the faucet and uh, all that blue will go away. I wish they made one that was, um, that was white because I love working on dark fabrics as well. I, any fabric really, it, it's a lot of fun to do different fabrics. Um, but I can't, it doesn't work on, on dark ones. I mean, it still like marks it, but you can't see it. It's, it's um, so we're just, again, backstitching. Because all I'm doing is making a little outline. I'm not going to... They do have a bit of a thicker side on this side. That little... That little guy. So on this side, there is... It is a bit thicker. And then on the bottom, it's a little thicker. So maybe I'll do like a double layer. We'll see. We'll, we'll do the first outline and then see how it goes. surprised that the color is so different on the on the camera I swear it's it's actually the purple <laughs> but yep once we uh, once I finish this up I think I will go out I don't oh it's my first time so I gotta go raid somebody love to see who's on I know Sundays aren't the most popular days. At least I haven't really. Um, I know Lead, uh, Ladyfuss usually is on Sunday. And uh, Lupo is always... The Space Wolf is... Uh, actually, he changed his name. I gotta, rem I gotta figure out what his new name is. I keep forgetting to remember that. Um, he, like, streams every single day, so I bet he's, like, out on there. But we can uh, see when that time comes. It'll be exciting, I think. Yeah. I, I have to look up how to actually do a raid. I, I think it's a command in the chat. Like, if I do forward slash or backslash, I can't remember which one it is. And then you raid, and then you do... The name of the person? I, I, I'll have to look it up. <clears throat> but 
can't end a stream without reading. <laughs> Gotta go share the love everywhere else. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna do this little this little part right here? Oh no. <laughs> do love all these colors man if, if I had the money I'd just be like buying every kind of craft material there is I'd have all the colors <laughs> all the fabric all the yarn like not enough t time in the day to use it all <laughs> all right so I got to try and keep it on the same line. I did extend it a little long, but that's okay. It's it still looks like it. It's that way, so. Yeah, and I will go I am gonna go back and do a double layer to thicken up that bottom and that one side. I think it'll look really good. So one, two, three. I should be able to do three. Okay. Two. And last one on the border. I don't know what the little uh, things in the eye, they just remind me of eyes, but I know that's not what they're, I know that's not what it is. It's like my little eyes. And that goes right back into the center where we started. So, you can see, just did a little outline. And then I will go back and then down around the side. And then oh, we want to get it as close as possible. So there's no white kind of showing through. There we go. <laughs> Struggling there a little. <laughs> and then, okay. <laughs> Trying to get it right next to it is actually pretty hard. There we go. I might want to do another layer or another row just to make it a bit more noticeable. So I did do a second layer, but or a second like row right next to it. But I think we'll turn the corner, go here, jump it, and then go here because it is on both sides of this bottom. And then I'll I'll go back and do another. So it'll be three rows just to make it a bit more distinct about about the uh oh hang on i gotta bring it close to me there we go and then we'll go right under here looks a bit better And then the other side, do the same thing. I 
I'm excited to see how it's going to turn out at the end of the year. I've never done one of these. I also want to eventually do one of those temperature scarves or blankets. I, um, I think you can do really anything with it where you pick uh, different colors of yarn depending on temperatures. I believe it's like a range of 10 degrees or five degrees or something like that. And then you, um, every day, or I'm sorry, yes, every uh, day you do a new line of knitting or crochet to um, represent the temperature that it is at that time. I um, think it'd be cool to do it for like your birth year, or I guess the first year you were born, and then like the location you were at. Mine would be pretty boring, but um, up here, I think we have lots of friends who have their kids, you know, literally their children are only a few months old, and so I think it'd be a cute little gift for them uh, down the line. Especially this winter, it's been chaos. We had freezing temperature and then this heat wave, and I believe we're going to be getting another cold front coming in in a few weeks or in a few oh, actually it might even be a few days I'm not even really sure so a little bit of white peeked out on that bottom one but it's okay yeah Coming together. But um, temperature blankets were really popular, I believe, in like probably 2020. Everyone was doing all kinds of hobbies then. Crazy yarn was so expensive. It's ridiculous when they jack up prices just because it's more popular all of a sudden. I think they did that for the Avatar movie too. Like all the ticket, um, well, I guess they're already expensive because it's IMAX as well. Gosh, I haven't been to a movie theater in so long. Even before COVID, I wasn't really going that often. We used to go all the time when I was a kid and in high school. But now I am quite content at just waiting for it to come out on streaming or renting or whatever and then I can just watch it at home. <laughs> I do think some movies though are probably really good in theaters. Like I really wish I would have watched the Lord of the Rings movies in theaters. I never never saw those in theaters. And, oh. They need to do a whole new movie release just for them. Put them back in theaters for a few months. I'd go see that. <laughs> All right. So I think, so I think that that is good. So it just, all I did is I did, I was only gonna do two, but it definitely needed the three and it kind of created a little shadow, I guess. I guess that one did go a little too high. All right, cute little, little shadow. Maybe I'll go around again. Yeah, I think I will actually. We're not done yet. Got myself right under the nail. Nice. Just gotta make sure I'm not gonna. Nope, not bleeding. Okay. All good. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost at three hours. Oh. 
Sorry for the popping. Join sir. Fun like that. <clears throat> yeah, I think an extra layer around is is the way to go. I think the bottom of this actually is a bit thicker too, now that I'm looking at it. There we go. Oh, that looks much better. There's a weird, like, I don't know, I can still kind of see it. A little bit of the whites popping through. Like I've said, no, no one's going to notice it but me. That's what, um, when I make things for my friends, I, uh, I get so like, oh, it has to be perfect. They'll see anything. But the more I think about it, I, I doubt any of them have noticed any of the little mistakes I've done. I just uh, want to make sure it looks perfect. But I do need to be more relaxed about it because I do end up taking more time which I could be doing to make other things. Just to fix one little thing that was perfectly fine. It was not, yeah, I've, I've taken things apart that did not need to be taken apart just because I didn't think it looked good, but I just need to tell myself it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. All right. I think that's the outer part. All right. So the outside. Focus, camera, focus. Oh my goodness. There it goes. A little, little twitch icon. And we'll do the little, I guess, colons. What are those? I'm going to just call them eyes. <laughs> Last one, just like that. Okay, and again, doing it myself. This guy was not put in the right hole. <clears throat> put in the right hole. Should probably make sure that my chat is 18 and over. <laughs> okay, so before the reason I did that is because before it was in this little hole, and now I'm just gonna move it up just a little bit. Because uh, it's not where I want it. There we go. Love it. Look how cute. Simple, just a little outline. 
I think. If you know what Twitch is, they'll, <laughs> you'll be able to tell what it is at least. And that's, that's it. That's a start. We'll tie off. Or not off. <laughs> Maybe. should do three since this is a very thin there we go. <clears throat> all right and that's what we did so next Sunday I will probably just work on these other lines and then maybe a few more of the months and then we'll do another another um, icon I don't know what next Sunday will be but um, since I want to do uh, at least two a week um, that's at least my goal but I'm not gonna push myself if I only do one a week that's fine um, but to fill up this so at least Tuesday I will before um, I play Witcher. I think I will just quickly, quickly do the um, the Wolf Medallion logo right here. Be a cute little guy. Maybe underneath. Maybe I can do a smaller, a little under, and then I can do something over here. Um, man, if uh, if I feel up to it, we'll do three times a week on each in in the beginning of every stream. Maybe I'll. Uh, I'll just try and make it a habit to, to do a little icon before every stream just to just for the year and by the end of the year this thing will be all filled up it's gonna be kind of chaos but it'll look so cute little memory little memory journal for embroidery but isn't that cute sorry my black fabric or my black thread was not happy <laughs> but that's okay we I will continue using it on this just because and I'll, I'll keep using it but um oh but uh just to keep the con the consistency of all throughout um but yeah I'll be looking for a different one for other projects and I'll just use this for last minute or things that are just for me but I think when I make things for friends or other individuals, I'll try and get a better black, something that I can really, really uh, pull and much stronger. I don't have to worry about all this fraying that happened, but all right. So that is that. Again, we used three, uh, 38, 37 for the Twitch. And then this guy, no matter what, yarn color it is going to be the 310 that's the the um number i guess for the thread oh my gosh trying to focus yay there it is <laughs> and um but yeah all right well let me see who we can raid oh i knew it lady puss is on <laughs> Oh, Scotty's on too. He's playing Super Mario Cross. Oh, maybe I shouldn't do Scotty. Hmm. I'll do a coin flip. Do I have a coin? All right. Move that. All right. I'm going to figure out who we're going to raid. Tails, Lady, Head, Scotty. Oh gosh, this is going to make a lot of noise. I'll try and catch it. <sighs> Heads. Oh wait, what did I say? So Scotty. Wow, <laughs> I already forgot. Wow, my brain does not want to work. All right, let me figure out how to raid. 
But um, before we go, I want to say thank you guys for stopping in for my first stream ever. I, I hope I can be way more, con like, I hope I can be consistent. Um, like I said, Sundays are going to be my, like, craft days. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I hope that I can start The Witcher and um, do that where I can just, I'll be streaming on off the Xbox. And I've never done that, so that will be also a first time whole learning experience to figure out how that works um but beforehand like i said we will i'll do another little icon um at least on tuesday but hopefully thursday as well and then um we'll just keep that routine until i finish witcher and then figure out what we're doing and like i said i i can't force myself to make bad decisions in those games so I'll, uh, I know that um, there is a wheel in sources. I was looking that up, but even if that doesn't work, I know that there are things online that you can just put up a, a little uh, decision wheel to, to do that. Um, but I want to make sure that you guys all see it so that, um, or I can just flip a coin, I guess. Some of the decisions are only two things, so maybe I could just flip a coin and make the, that, so that makes decisions. I know that's not going to be a big issue um, in the beginning. Um, there's only a, a few quick decisions, but I do not think that they affect the ending story. I do need to look at, look into that, but um, I want to say thank you to Myth for being the first chatter. He, uh, I, first time I got on Twitch, I, he was the first person I followed, and then he was the first person to ever follow me, and now he's the first person to chat in my stream. I, I just, we're all about firsts with each other. I love it. Um, oh, if he was on, he could be my first raid. Oh, that would have been cool. Oh, I should have uh, scheduled that better. Um... But I also want to say thanks to Cage and Is for following as well. I um, This follower goal is uh, wrong. Two of them are from me from doing tests. So um, I do need to figure out how to do that. I guess I just will forever know. Um, but I tried to re like fix that and it didn't seem to want to reset so oh, like i said i gotta do more playing with all of this but i do want to thank you guys so much for stopping by i greatly appreciate it first stream um uh so it begins <laughs> um so let's see here i i gotta figure out how to raid how to twitch raid Okay, so it is, oh, that one, that one. Okay, raid, yeah. Okay, and then you do the, not parentheses. Do I just put the name in? Easy. I think I actually have to do, let's see where, gosh, I have not. There it is. Easy. Let's see. Invalid username. Try that again. Great. Maybe it's you don't need to put the I don't allow you to raid at this time? What? I got a raid. Oh no. Raids 
settings do not allow you to rate it this time. Is it because I'm a baby and I've never done it before? Hmm. What's on chat settings? Is it in my account maybe? In the meantime, I'm going to leave that right there and so you can see that while I try and figure out how to do a raid. If anyone's on there, if they know what's going on, I would uh, appreciate that. I don't know if it's in my settings or if it's just because I'm new. Maybe I need to be streaming for a certain amount of time. This exact thing popped up. Let's see what Twitch help has to say. Oh, it's, oh, so maybe it's on, well, let me try doing weedy puss. Yes, let's try. Let's try and weedy puss some. Raid. <laughs> hey, that worked. All right, thank you guys. Countdown's going. We're going to weedy puss. I don't know why I couldn't go to Scotty. Um, I'll have to try another time. But uh, oh. Sweet. So yeah. Um, thank you guys again. This is so exciting. My tum my stomach's been like doing all kinds of flips because I've been so nervous. But the best way to do it is to jump in and um, just try it out. Oh, thank you, Cage. Thank you so much for um, following and joining up, joining me. Oh no, no, don't be sorry. You're great. No, please. I Stinks you have to you have to work on a Saturday or a Sunday anyways and that oh, you had to wake up so early. Oh, I I hope it's not too stressful and you have a a good evening at least. But um thank you again for joining me and and hanging out. Um I know it's not the most exciting, but uh hopefully once we get a bit a few more projects going on, um it'll be more exciting and I know the Witcher will be a lot of fun. I mean, how could it not be? But um all right. Thank you guys again. Have a great evening. Let's go hang out with Lady Puss.